Hi everyone, my name is Gabe Crisologo, Applications Engineer here at Hawkridge Systems, and in this video I'm going to talk about an option when creating mates in an assembly, and that option is multiple mate mode. So multiple mate mode is very useful when you need to apply mates that share a common reference because you can do it here very quickly and in a single operation. So this is a carburetor assembly for an RC car and the shared reference between these components is going to be the cylindrical face here of the carb body. I'm going to select the rest of these components to align them to that cylindrical face. Now these already have um, some coincident and tangent mates to place them already where they need to be and I'm just using this concentric mate to align these with that cylinder. Once you're done making your selections, you can choose to create a multi-mate folder or not. In this case, I do have that option checked and I can say OK. And what that's going to do is group that set of concentric mates in a folder here in the feature tree. So if I expand that, you can see the concentric mates here, all with that shared cylindrical face that are highlighted in purple from the carburetor body. You can move and um, drag these concentric mates to the top level and vice versa you can drag and drop that back into the multi-mate folder. If you wanted to move all these mates to the top level of the feature tree you can right click on that multi-mate folder and dissolve mate. So you can see how the multi-mate mode is useful when you quickly just need to create these mates between components that share a common reference in a single operation. Thank you for watching.